Hi, I'm Brian Dickinson, and this is an overview of prediction modes in UVM register modeling. So prediction, this is the art in keeping your register model up to date with what we think is happening inside of your DUT. And we do this so that we can do consistency checking. We can check the expected results in our register model against the actual results in our DUT register. And this is a very powerful way of detecting problems in your DUT or, or indeed with your register model, regardless of how complex your test bench or your DUT is. So in this presentation, we're going to have a look at four different prediction modes, implicit, uh, explicit, passive and manual. Uh, but you may have to accept that for some registers, a prediction just may not be possible. We may not be able to keep an accurate expected value in a register model for a given register, and therefore for some registers, consistency checking just may not be possible. But let's have a look at the first prediction mode, implicit or auto prediction mode. This is the simplest method, and this re relies upon the fact that if we use sequences to access our registers, which use the UVM register API, and by that I mean the built-in register access methods like read and write. If our sequences use this API, then we, in this prediction mode, we can update the model automatically. So when we do a write operation from our register sequence, this will carry out an operation on our, D, on our UVC to write to the registers of our DUT. At the same time, the write operation will automatically update the appropriate register inside of your register model. So uh, by default, this is turned off, but it's easy to turn on. All we need to do is to call the set auto predict method off an appropriate address map for our register model and set the value to be equal to one. Now, the obvious problem with auto prediction is that only the sequences that use the UVM register API, the built in register methods like read and write, only these sequences are going to be updating your register model. If you have UVC sequences, native sequences of your UVC, that also access the registers of your DUT, these will not be used to update the model. They'll not keep the model up to date. So this is going to be an issue, obviously, wherever we have a mix, perhaps, between sequences that access registers via the API and sequences which access the registers just using the native sequences of your UVC. Uh, this could be a problem and an issue in system level reuse, for example, because your system level sequences are less likely to use the API methods, and an obvious problem for legacy test benches, for example, which again may not use the API methods. So an alternative is to use explicit prediction. And the idea of explicit prediction is it will update the register model regardless of where a given transaction came from, whether it was generated from a uh, API register sequence or from a UVC register sequence. And to do this, we need a predictor component and we need the register UVC adapter. So we connect the predictor to the analysis port of your monitor. So we pick up every transaction which is sent by that UVC into your DUT. We then use the adapter of the UVC to convert the UVC data into a generic register operation, and then the predictor uses that generic operation to update your register model. So again, regardless of where a transaction comes from, we are capturing that transaction. We can work out whether it's a read or a write operation on a register, and we can use that to update our register model. So uh, the register layer itself provides the predictor component. You don't have to write it yourself. All you need to do is to instantiate it, configure it correctly, and connect it up to your register model and also to the analysis port of your monitor of your UVC. Now there's another prediction mode called passive prediction, which is very similar to explicit prediction. It uses a predictor component and it is connected and configured just as we used in explicit prediction. 
But in passive prediction, we do not have a connection between our register model and the UVC sequencer. And what this means is that we cannot actually access the registers of our DUT via the register API methods like read or write. Well, hey, strictly speaking, we can't use front door access. We could still use back door access if we want, but we can't use front door access. This means that the only way of accessing the registers of our DUT UT is through the native sequences of our UVC. So this is a, a, a loss in abstraction level because if you can't use the generic register API methods like read or write, that makes accessing the registers much more difficult. Hey, and, and the connection between your register model and your UVC sequencer is very simple. It's just one line of code. So because of this, because of the simplicity in using uh, explicit prediction and because of the loss of abstraction that you get in passive prediction, then you find this mode is rarely used. Um, last couple of modes we're going to have a look at are manual prediction. Now, there are API methods uh, get mirrored value and predict that allow your sequences just to update the register model only without carrying, carrying out any operation on your UVC, without carrying out any operation on your DUT registers. So what we might be able to do is set a series of UVC sequences to send data into our DUT and then use the uh, register model access methods to write the register model with the expected results, basically to do manual prediction on our register model. And then we can use register sequences to access the registers from the DUT and then check those against the expected results that we just wrote into the register model. Now, obviously, uh, you need to know what the values in the register model are going to be, okay, before you can predict them. So this is going to be difficult if we're sending random data into our DUT. So an alternative solution may be to use the scoreboard to help us in manual prediction. And this is very good, for example, if you have registers that may have side effects. So, for example, I may have a register inside of my DUT, which is a read-only counter. It is incremented every time we get a data item sent to a certain address. But it also has an enable bit in a configuration register. And only if the bit is set do we increment the counter when we see a packet with the appropriate address. So what we can do here is the scoreboard can collect all the transactions which are being sent by the UVC into the DUT by connecting to the analysis port of the monitor. Uh, this can then do direct writes to the register model using the predict method in order to keep the register model up to date, but it can also read the register model. So for example, when it receives a packet sent to a certain address, it can read the register model to see if the enable bit is set in the configuration register and if it is it can then read the current value of the counter increment it and then write it back into our register model so now the nice thing about this is your uvc data can be random because we rely upon the scoreboard to build up the expected results inside of our register model and hey we could use a combination of all of these prediction modes if we wanted to to keep our register model up to date OK, so that's the overview of the different prediction modes in UVM register modeling. I hope you found it useful. Mm -hmm.